Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, hey, my name is Tenna and welcome to The Circus. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Pride look because it is Pride Month and everything about Pride is colorful and I'm here for the colors and all that good stuff. I really wanted to do a Pride look just to like show my support for like the LGBTQ community. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys give me life every single day. I have friends that are all a part of the LGBTQ community, things like that, and like just really, really, really want to show my support during this time of year. I support you guys all year round, but this is your guys' month, so live, be free, don't worry about what anybody has to say about anything, um, you know, and I'm really big about acceptance. This is a happy place on my channel. That's why I call my channel The Circus, because at The Circus, everybody is invited. Everybody can join the circus, whether, you know, things are abnormal or you think you might be weird or you think that you don't fit in or you don't just mesh with whatever society thinks that you should be. Everybody's accepted at the circus, which is why I call it the circus also because it's a little bit wild and crazy on here. So, you know, I got two different reasons for calling my channel The Circus. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do an eyeshadow look today. Um, if you guys wanna follow along, maybe get some inspo for a couple like Pride festivals that are coming up, things like that. I know there's a lot of things going on this weekend, but people are just gonna be doing the whole Pride thing all month long. Um, so if you wanna stick around, you wanna follow along on this Pride tutorial, then go ahead and stick around. Otherwise, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I don't know why you wouldn't, it's free. And I'm like, great entertainment. At least I think I'm great entertainment. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into the video. Before we jump into it, I'm playing with different lighting. It's like midday and it's like really bright in here right now. So like normally I have like this whole like ring light thing going on and I have it on the lowest setting. So right now I'm mostly going off of daylight. So hopefully this is like good lighting. If so, I might start filming at this time every day because it's kind of nice. So anyway, um, I'm gonna be pulling in a couple of different bright palettes, things like that. Um, I'll show you guys which ones I'm using, some good dupes, things like that. Um, obviously, I'm gonna be using colors that are rainbowy, and I've gotten a lot of inspo from like a lot of looks that I've seen on like Instagram and things like that. Things that I thought were like really pretty, really cool. Um, so I'm gonna try those things out. Um, so basically, the first thing I'm gonna be using is the Bright Lights palette by Pinky Rose, which is this guy. I have done a review on it, and this palette is just to die for. Um, basically, it screams. Pride. It's got all of the colors in here that we will basically need. Um, I'll be mainly pulling from this palette and then, um, you know, just to pull a couple like darker colors, things like that, that I wanted to play around with it. And what a better fitting time is that I will be using the Life's a Drag palette as well, just because why not? And also what a fitting time for this to release other than Pride Month. Um, and there are some nice little colors and stuff like that in here as well that I will be pulling from, mostly like the reds and the purples, things like that. So I will be pulling from those guys. Um, otherwise, if you do not own either of those palettes, realistically, any palette that has a bunch of colors you can use to achieve this look. Um, you know, and a really good one um, that I almost wanted to pull for was the Morphe 35B palette, which looks like this. Basically a giant rainbow as well. So, I mean, whatever palette that you guys want to reach for, knock yourself out. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on my face and we'll go ahead and get started on this eye look. All right, so we're all nice and zoomed in on my face. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lids with some concealer. Um, I think this is a good step for everybody, especially my girls with like deeper skin tones. The lighter the concealer that you use, the more the colors are gonna pop. Um, the unfortunate part, I mean, I love the fact that we are tan all year round, but unfortunately colors tend to get a little bit diluted on our skin tones. So in order for us to get that bright pop of color that we wanna see, we really have to go in and use a light concealer, a concealer that is a lot lighter than our actual skin tone. Um, one that I actually like to use, that's my favorite, you can use any concealer. But I actually like to go in with the um, MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Painterly. Um, for my girls that are a little bit lighter, they also have it in the color Soft Ochre, which is also really nice. Um, all it is is basic, just like a cream base shadow. So it's quite nice, it's quite nice. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over my eyes. I'm also gonna run it a little bit under my eyes too. So when I come back from putting this on, I might look a little bit crazy because the concealer is extremely light, but I promise you that it's going to work out well by the end of this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this on a brush and just kind of wipe it all over the lid. And then I will use my finger to kind of diffuse the edges of it so it's not, um, we don't have any harsh lines from it. Oh, 
my neighbors are outside being loud as hell right now. You shut my window. Rude. All right, I went ahead and concealed on my lid as well as underneath my eye. So I do look a little bit crazy, kind of like a backwards Dalmatian right now. I look like I have like no eyelashes. I look a little weird. So um, basically what we're gonna do is we're going to do like a rainbow kind of ombre effect, something that I've seen all over Instagram, which I thought was really cool. And I wanna try my hand at it. And I'm kind of nervous because I've never done a look like this before. Um, you know, I'm still trying to get comfortable with color. So we're gonna take a stab at this and see how it comes out. So um, for starters, we are gonna go ahead and jump into the Bright Lights palette. I'm going to jump into the yellow that they have right here. Um, I know that Manny has like a yellow in here and like I swatched it and like it's okay. I just know that this yellow in here is very, very, very bright and very good to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice fluffy blending brush and basically what we're gonna do is kind of have like the rainbow fade over both eyes where it goes like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple um, kind of thing. So um, you can use like the same blending brush for this. I have like a quick change thing so that I can kind of like clean the brush off as I go. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is I'm going to jump into the Bright Lights palette in the color um, Lit, which is this yellow color right here. And um, basically anybody can use whatever palette that they want for this, just as long as it is a yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and take that and I'm gonna pop that in to the inner corner right in here. Oh, and before we continue, I did not set the concealer on my eyes, so don't set them. Um, leave them tacky, it makes the color stick a lot better and it makes them a lot brighter. Next, I'm going to go in to the color Dreamsicle, which is this nice little orangey, it's kind of like a salmon color, but we're gonna try it and see how this works out next to it. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in right next to it and kind of put it into like the middle of this crease right in here. All right, and next, I kind of want to go into this color Becky, this pink right here, before we fade it into a red. So I'm going to go ahead and dip on into Becky, and I'm going to go ahead and pop that on the outer corner just a bit, like right in here. And then we will deepen up the outer corner with a red once we get to that stage. All right, before we pop our red into the outer corner, I'm just gonna keep going onto the other side. Um, that way you guys can kind of get a feel of what it is I'm trying to do with my eyes here. Um, I'm gonna go clean off this brush. By the way, if you guys are wondering, I'm using a Morphe M56, or 576 brush, M576 brush. Um, but you can really use any nice fluffy blending brush for this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this palette again. I'm gonna go into the color Smash, which is this bright green. I'm so excited to try this. I've been wanting to use this color for like ever and just like didn't know how or when I would get to use it. So I'm excited. We're gonna go ahead and pop this into the inner corner and we're essentially gonna do the same thing across this eye except using green, blue, purple. Next, I'm gonna go into this color right here. It's in the color Punky, um, which is a cute kind of aqua color. I could've went into the color Cloud, but I wasn't really feeling that. I'm not like a sky blue fan, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that. I'm gonna pop it in right next to the green, right in the middle of my eye in the crease there. But not least, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the color Pop Rocks in this one. Um, it looks like we're probably gonna be using the Pinky Rose palette, I feel like, for all of it, but you know, that's fine. This is a really good palette and it's pigmented AF. I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. I'm gonna pop that into the outer corner crease area. All right, so we've got our rainbow already kind of going. Next is going to be the fun part that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna go ahead and do a half cut crease. So I'm gonna go in and do a half cut crease on both of my lids and then we're gonna add some glitter and some like really cool fun things in here. I'm really excited about this. So go ahead and take a nice flat concealer brush. Um, and we're gonna use that. I'm going with a MAC 248 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take that and that's what I'm going to use to cut the crease. I'm going in with that Painterly Paint Pot. Once again, you can use the same concealer that you use to brighten up that lid to do this part. All right, so we've got our 
creases cut, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the Lunar Beauty palette. I'm actually gonna pop into this white right here. So I'm gonna get a nice packing brush. I'm um, using this guy right here um, from the Vintage Company, which is a nice little packing brush. I'm just gonna go in there and I'm gonna pack that on top of the um, cut crease that we just put down. All right, this is where things start getting fun. I wanna add some crazy glitter to this. Like this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be like festival fun type shit. So basically what we're gonna do is I am going to use some um, NYX glitter. Um, there's two different ones that I have right here. Um, if you can kind of see them, if it'll kind of zoom in. So if you can see them, I've got one from Beauty Creations and I've also got one from NYX, but they are basically these like glittery rainbow iridescent spackles. So that's what we're gonna put on our eyeballs. So some of the best glue that I've ever used is actually from NYX, it's the glitter primer. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this and I'm just going to tap that on to my lid, um, both lids, just to kind of get a nice tacky base going um, so that we can lay down some of the glitter. All right, next I'm gonna take a very, very, very dense brush so that I can go in here and just kind of dip into the glitter and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like pack it on to where I laid down that glue. I don't know if this is necessarily eye safe, kind of don't care because it's glitter and yellow. Why would you not? So, if you can kind of see what's going on here, we are glittery. We are very glittery. So, <clears throat> Basically what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pop back into the Lunar Beauty palette. I'm gonna take that red color Snatched. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe E17 brush. I'm gonna go ahead and dip right on into there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop into that outer corner and kind of blend it into that pink that we did there, just to kind of close up this cut crease that we did. And then next, I'm gonna go into that same palette. I'm gonna go into the color Pageant Queen right here, that purple, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that onto the outer corner of the other eye. I right, went ahead and took a little bit of the color Beat, which is this nice, if I can flip this around, um, which is this nice shimmery shade right here in the middle. I took that and kind of pat it over the glitter um, a little bit on the eyes just to get a little bit of shimmer like like underneath it so it wasn't like so white. And then I'm also going to take a nice fluffy brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of that color beet and I'm going to pop it into my inner corners. All right, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we are going to do the same colors going underneath the eye just to kind of finish up this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I did on top on the bottom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and speed up and go through this because you kinda already saw what I did the first time. that is what our eyes are looking like. Let's go ahead and throw on some eyeliner and then we'll throw on some lashes and we will go ahead and wrap up the entire look. I'm gonna go in and do my typical winged eyeliner. I know, I can't get away from it, you guys. It's just, it's my thing, it's my staple. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna line these eyes real quick. Um, and I was careful to make sure that I did not bring the, litter, the glitter, the glitter, the glitter all the way close down to my lash line. That way I would still be able to line my eyes without having really any issues. bottom lash line as is normally I put like black eyeliner down there but like I kind of don't want to do that but then it also looks kind of plain I'm gonna do it anyway a creature of habit all right so there is that I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back if you don't want to line your lower line then by all means you don't have to do it it's all up to you All right, you guys, 
guys and that is the finished look I wanted to do a little bit more of a nude lip, lip just because I didn't want to take away from the eye look and the thing that's really weird I don't know if it's just me washing it on the camera like I've had to check myself several times because I feel like in the monitor thing I look like I'm cross-eyed or my eyes are like this but it's actually kind of funny because there are such dark colors on this eye and such light colors on this eye this eye actually looks bigger than this one so it looks a little bit weird because when I look in the mirror I'm just like okay like my eyes are the same size I'm not cross-eyed like what's happening I don't know I just thought it was the weirdest freaking thing so anyways you guys that is it that is the full tutorial tutorial girl hopefully this was cool for you hopefully this is something that you want to try out and wear um I mean realistically you don't even have to wear it for pride month you can wear it whenever you freaking want to whenever your heart desires I think that's a pretty cool look and to wrap this thing up you guys I really wanted to do this just to show my support for the community, for the LGBTQ community, as I said in the beginning of this video, um, you know, I am a straight female, so I'm not like part of the group, and no, I'm not trying to like off of, you know, it being Pride Month. I just, I live in the state of California. It's very, very common here. I mean, I feel like half of California is gay, which is awesome. You guys bring so much joy to me. I think you guys are like fabulous. I love all of you guys. Um, and I just really wanted to do this to like show my support and show that you guys, you know, are not alone and that you guys don't have to fight your fight on your own. And I just feel like everybody should be allowed to be who they want to be, whatever they want to be and love who they want to love. And it's nobody else's business but your own on what you want to do with your life. And it's just, it's ridiculous that, you know, how many people think that they have a say and how people should live their life and how afraid people are to be themselves because they don't fit life's cookie cutter. Well, you know what? I think that people that fit life's cookie cutter are boring, frankly. So do you be loud, be proud, be out about who you are. I, you know what, I find that you guys are so much more interesting. You guys are so much cooler to be around. You have such interesting stories and you guys just don't have that normal cookie cutter life that I wouldn't want either. So, so anyways, you guys, that is it. Um, hopefully this was cool for you guys and hopefully you guys come back and check out more of my videos. I've got some fun stuff, some cool stuff coming up. If you want to see me do anything else, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing what I think you guys want to see. But if you guys want to see something different, then let me know. Um, but anyway, here are some colors. Here are some colors. I know that I had some um, requests and stuff like that for um, girls with medium to deeper skin tones on how to use bright colors and stuff like that. So hopefully this kind of like gave you some pointers on using bright colors um, and yeah. So anyways guys, that was it. Thank you for following along and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.